My name is Coach Jerrica Watson. The 3 system is a professional development system um, that I've created and it's really, really grown over the years um, as I've gotten better and I've been learning so much uh, from other coaches and so I've been uh, watching a lot of YouTube videos um, different drills that uh, professional athletes do, college athletes do, beginning athletes. Um, so I basically train all levels of basketball. And the difference between me and a lot of coaches is I'm a developmental coach. So I'll take a player that's really, really weak and that's really not good at all. And I'll develop them all the way through um, throughout his whole career. So when you see somebody on 23 system and you might feel like they might not be that good, that's the whole purpose of 23 system is to kind of develop players. Um, and so I don't like to start off, to be honest, with players that's really good because those are really hard players to coach because they don't really listen. I like to start off with players that know that they need to improve and that's going to be really receptive and soak in everything like a sponge when I try to coach them and things like that. So as you can see, I did get the pad a couple of years ago when I noticed that some of my players was playing just a little soft in the Summer Stars League. So I got the pad off of Amazon.com and it's really improved my players' uh, contact when they go to the basket. They get a lot of in runs when I come to see players and you might see a lot of highlights on 23 system of my players getting in runs and the reason why is that pad. And then that, next, I got the ladder. Around the same time I got the pad, I got the ladder. And once again, the reason that I got the ladder is because players didn't understand how important footwork was. So the ladder is really the best, easy, least complicated way to get a player's footwork where it needs to be. And to be honest, the player really doesn't need to understand why they need footwork. As long as they have good footwork, it's going to come into play while they're playing. Um, they do. They don't get it. A lot of players don't get that. So I really, really love having the ladder. So I make sure I put my players through the ladder really as soon as possible. As you can see, the foot speed is really going to improve. And it really has since I got the ladder. Uh, Jeremiah uh, right here, he's the one who kind of uh, pressured me into getting the ladder. So I really wanted him to go through the ladder when he does come for his workouts. But as you can see, the different uh, levels of ages that I have because I do train really, really young players and really um, older players more experienced, but to me, they're all the same. They're going through the same system, as you can see, especially if they're serious. To me, it doesn't matter how old a player is. If a player is serious about his game and about improving, I'm going to put him through the same system that I put DJ through, that I put Tori through, and that I put Jeremiah through. So I really don't look too much at the age. I just look at more of the player's game. And obviously you have to change the workouts depending upon the player, which I do like to evaluate each player. But for the most part, when I'm developing a player, I'm going to put them through the same exact system that's been working for me. And these are the drills that um, I've added to be more game-like because a lot of my seven spot shooting, that's not really not game-like. So right here, this is a really important drill, especially for those high school players because this is more game-like when you're running to half court and then you're coming back and setting your feet and stepping into that shot right here. It's really important how you step into that shot. So right here we have Denzel and this was our Sunday morning workout when they were able to get into the gym and really focus on that uh, shooting. Right here we have Jordan, who kind of struggled uh, during this drill right here because he's more younger and he's on his way to high school, not in high school just yet, but it's really important that these two players right here who, who will be attending high school, this is my year, and he came to me because he's going to be attending high school next year and he, obviously he does not feel like he's ready, he's missing training and now he's trying to make up for some of that training and it's, it's never too late. Just like I said, I'm putting him through the exact same drills that um, DJ and Denzel who are going to MATC to play college ball are going through. And right here we have Troy. Once again, he was at us at a different, with me at a different time, but he did the same 
the same drills and the same workout because it's the same developmental system. Like I said, I'm not really going to change it from player to player. Each player that steps into this system is going to get the most consistent training and the best training really that they can receive. And right here, I'm really liking the way Tori is developing. When I first met Tori, he really wasn't that good. But over the years, he's came into the gym even without me being there and has worked on his game. So it's just a good thing that me and him are back together doing our workouts. And here we have Destiny, who is uh, really, really improving her outside gym shots and trying to be versatile and play as many positions. And that's the, another thing about 23 system that you must know is it's not about positions. Um, this is about uh, footwork, professional skills development, and most importantly, shooting. That's really my strength as a coach is to teach players how to knock that ball down and to score because I was in the score when I played basketball. That was one of my major, major strengths and what kind of helped my career really, really, really go far. It was my ability to score the basketball. So I do spend a lot of time on shooting. I think I spend a little more time than other coaches on teaching players how to score. But that's just my niche. I do teach, like I said, the footwork and the contact pad, but I'll, I'll be lying to you if I told you I was a master at that. I look at myself really as a, a master shooter um, at the end of the day, and that's what I've been able to teach uh, some of my players. So as you can see, I'm pretty busy. This was all within one week of working training, so that was like about eight to ten players. All right, thanks for watching.